I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the wheels and tires that I picked for my crawler. You know, it took me a long time to find the correct wheels. I spent a lot of time looking online. I was looking for the, this particular exact wheel with the five slot, five bolt hole pattern in either a 1.5 or a 1.9 configuration. I decided to go with the 1.9 because it was a little bit bigger and it, it's going to look a little bit better on the full scale crawler when I get it all done. There's actually two companies that I was going to go for when I was looking at this. One was in Canada and one was here in the United States. I ended up going with the Canadian company. The company from the United States offered the same exact wheel. The only problem was it wasn't as deep. It still was a five slot mag looking wheel. It just wasn't very deep and it did have a bead lock around the outside and that wasn't exactly the look I was going for. You know, I was willing to compromise and, and use that look for now, but it wouldn't have been perfect. But I ended up stumbling onto this company from Canada and I'll put their link down at the bottom. They actually handmade this wheel for me, or actually the set of four, and they asked in what bolt, bolt, bolt pattern that they wanted and what size 1.9 or 1.5. So I opted for the five lug, like a standard AMC or Dana 44 bolt pattern, um, and they did a really good job. Now the interesting thing, and I don't know if you can see this here on the back side of this, this rear wheel here, is the, the wheel actually is a two-piece rim and it bolts together from the back side. And the reason it does that is because it pinches a little bit of the tire in between and the two halves mate together, and it essentially becomes a bead lock from the back side, and you can't see it from the front side. It's kind of a neat design. You know, I meant to do this video before when I had the wheels all exploded apart so I could actually show mounting them on. I just didn't get around to it. So take my word, it's a very, very cool feature. So from the, the front side, it doesn't look like a bead lock, but it is actually bead locked from the rear, so you don't have to use any glue to mount the, the tire to the wheel. It's very, very cool. Uh, the hardware that they sent with the wheel included a fake disc rotor, which you might be able to see inside here. And all that does is it, it's the actual locator that locates the wheel to the driving pin so that the wheel doesn't slip. And then the wheel actually bolts onto that using some stock size lug nuts. The one that they sent me with the wheels were black and I didn't like them. So I ordered my own. I ordered these um, through eBay, just some small metric screws. Um, and I thought that these gave a much more stock looking appearance. And the other thing was I was able to order these with a flatter head so that the actual worn scale looking hub would bolt down nice and tight against there. When I had the stock screws on there that came with the wheels, the, the hub did not bolt all the way down and it left a nasty gap and it stuck out and it didn't look very prototypical. So that's what I ended up doing for those. The tires, of course, I ended up using the RC four wheel drive. Um, I'm not sure what their version of them are called, but everyone knows them as the BF Goodrich All-Terrain Tire. It's got that same pattern to it. Um, it is a 1.9 tire. They're a little bit narrower than I would have liked to have seen. I guess these equivalent to these are equivalent to a, a 10 inch wide tire in real life, and I was looking for more of a 12 inch wide tire, but there is no option for that, so I'll just have to stick with these. Maybe I can shim them from the backside and, and space them out a little bit to make them look a little beefier. But for now, I'm very, very pleased that I was able to get the correct wheel and tire combination that I was looking for for my, my scale project. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so glad that there are so many different types of parts out there that you can use for your crawlers now, whereas maybe five to ten years ago, you, you had to make all this stuff yourself. So it's really gotten a lot easier to go for the look that you're looking for.